Okay, so the next part of the book uh, goes through calculating uh, your expected payoff based on your wealth. And this is something that is also very mind-blowing. Um, so he, Spitznagel goes through this by playing a little dice game with us in our minds. And the dice game goes like this. You and I can play a game of dice. Um, if it lands on a one, you get one dollar. If it lands on a two, you get two dollars. If it lands on a three, you get six dollars. If it lands on a four, you get twenty-two. Lands on a five, two hundred. Lands on a six, you get a million dollars, which is ridiculously good. Now, if you want to play this game, you have to wager something. You have to wager the money. Um, wager a certain sum. And we can only play it once. That's that's the game. That's all. The question becomes, how much are you willing to wager to play this game? Now, if you are an economist and you have studied at Harvard and you don't know how to calculate stuff properly, or if you, like me, are unfortunate enough to uh, not really understand economics, but at the same time, have taken it in university and it now forms a unfortunately large part of your uh, way of viewing the world, then the way that you would calculate this is by finding the average return. So like this, uh, what you would do is you would take the possible outcomes. So one, and then you'd add them to each other. So 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 22 plus 200 plus 1 million. Since there are 6 outcomes, you divide it by 6, and that gives you, let's see, sorry, I'm going to pull out my calculator. 1 million, 222, plus 6, plus 2, plus 1, divided by 6 is equal to 166,705 and six seventeen cents. So what an economist would say is that playing this wager is worth $167,000 because on average, that is what the, the returns from playing this possible game is. That is what a rational person would play. However, most of us are not economists, and most of us would never wager. Um, most of us would never wager one hundred and sixty-seven thousand. If we even had that, I would bet. Like I personally would do something more like. Twenty, fifteen, which is ridiculous because, like, even if I got two hundred, that would be really good notwithstanding the million. Um, but this is a point that Spitznagel points out too, which is that no one would ever in their right mind pay $167,000. Some people might, like Bill Gates or Elon Musk. If you're super wealthy, you, would, you, you might do this, but most people wouldn't. And the reason for why The Economist is wrong, as he'll explain later on in the, the book, is because um, this assumes that you can just play it over and over and over and over again, and then just average in. Um, whereas we only have one shot. So we've got to make sure that we have the right shot. Anyway, so how then should you calculate how much you should pay for this wager if you're not going to use the $166,000? So the, the answer to this is that it's subjective. It depends on your starting wealth. Um, for it, How much you're willing to wager depends on how much you currently have right now. I'm pretty poor, so I'm not going to wager a lot of money because I have a lot more to lose than someone like an Elon Musk um, who has a lot of money uh, for whom this wager of $167,000 would be lunch money. So, um, thank goodness then that the smart mathematician who does everything right named Berluni, <laughs> Bernoulli, 
um, figured out a way to calculate properly um, how much you should be betting, taking into consideration your starting wealth. And that's really helpful. So the arithmetic average I just showed you, which is what economists would use. Now we're going to use, uh, we're going to look at uh, Bernoulli's solution to this issue. Um, okay, sorry for all of the movement. So Bernoulli, the point that Bernoulli made was that the, the, the wager that someone would be willing to put on this uh, game depends on how much wealth they have to start off with, right? And so perhaps an economist would say playing this game will bring you $167,000 in utility on average. Bernoulli would say, no, 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 you're not calculating it properly because your the the utility it brings to you changes depending on how wealthy you are so he came up with something a bit different which which does take into account your your wealth so let's say i have a net worth of twenty thousand dollars And I'm trying to figure out at what point, um, how much how much I should spend based on this net worth. Um, so, the way that Bernoulli figures this out is you have to subtract the. Let's see what is it. You have to look at your end wealth after wagering something. So, and then you you add them all up to calculate this thing called emolumentum medium, which is like the expected payoff or average payoff, but in a subjective sense. So let's say my net worth is $20,000. I'm willing to bet, um, let's see, I said 20, right? So let's say I'm willing to only bet 20 um, for the wager. What would be my Bernoulli expected value? What would be my emolumentum medium? Um, and so the way that Bernoulli answers this question is you have to look at the end result for every possibility. So if it, we were to roll a one, then my ending wealth, you have to look at your ending wealth, sorry. The ending wealth, if I were to roll a one, would be a 20,000 minus 20 for the wager plus one for the the dice roll, right? So that would become 19, uh, 9, Hope my math is correct there, right? 19, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So if I were to roll a two, then that would be 20,000 minus 20 plus two, which is equal to 19,982. And so on. So three, then that becomes nineteen thousand nine hundred and eighty six. Order four, nineteen thousand two hundred and forty six. Oh, no, actually, it would actually be twenty thousand. Like that. Or the roll of five, then it would be twenty thousand one hundred and eighty. Or the roll of six, then it would be one million zero two zero. Zero one nine nine eighty. If my math is correct, and I hope it is, six minus twenty plus twenty 
thousand. Yep, that looks right to me. So, anyway, what happens here if you roll a one and you only have twenty thousand dollars and you only bet twenty dollars, is you'll get nineteen thousand nine hundred eighty-one. This for two. This for three. This for four. This for five. And this for six. The next step that Bernoulli puts forward is to use the natural log. 